Alongside the developments in process engineering, synthetic biology is playing an important part in our energy puzzle, harnessing the forces nature has created by recombining them for our own uses. Humans have been using microbes for millennia. Just think of yogurt or beer. Since the 1940s, medicine has made extensive use of antibiotics, natural products made by one organism to kill or disable others. One of the most commonly used microbes is baker's yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. It's been exploited since antiquity and was first studied properly over a century ago by Pasteur. But it's now being used to ferment waste materials into ethanol, a fully renewable fuel. Compact ethanol refineries can be conveniently sited close to local producers of organic waste. On olemassa monia erilaisia mikrobeja, jotka pystyvät ottamaan viinaa, mutta leivin hiiva on edelleen yksi parhaimmista, koska se kestää korkeita etanolipitoisuuksia, mitä toiset mikrobit ei kestä. Ja sitten se tekee tota niin, päätuotteena etanolia. In a pilot plant in Kajani, ST1 Biofuels is pioneering the use of yeast to ferment sawdust into ethanol. The key challenge has been to optimize a cost-efficient industrial process to convert lignocellulose into sugars that the yeast can then metabolize. Puuraakaan ja lignocelluloosa, nämä kolme eri komponenttia, ligninisselluloosa, hemiselluloosa, ne on kietoutunut toisiinsa sekä fyysisesti että kemiallisin sidoksin. Ja se raaka-aine tarvitsee vesikäsittelyn, että ne saadaan erotettu toisistaan nämä komponentit ja sen jälkeen käytetty sitten ne sokerit, jotka siitä saadaan, niin viinaksi hiivakäymisellä. The final product, RE85, which is 85% ethanol, can be used in flexi-fuel cars. Recent Finnish legislation allows even old cars to be affordably converted to run on this renewable ethanol fuel. <laughs> 